there's always always a human story and then there's a spiritual story I was speaking to someone earlier and they were expressing their concern about the rise of China and I said you know you can't build without destroying so if China is rising you have to recognize that America is declining which you know it's no big secret and where this individual saw China's rise as a threat and an issue, the spiritual world shares with, with me that China's rise is now the proliferation and the, and the resurrection of Taoism and Confucius thought coming into the world. So remember, it's just like Eshu tells us, it's always more than one story, you know, and the law of correspondence tells us. Claim a holy land. You gotta claim a holy land for yourself. You gotta have a holy land. Uh, whether it's where you are right now, where you can dig your feet in and create what you're supposed to, or somewhere other than you are. But um, a people without a sacred place that they can call their own legitimately. And I don't care if it's 50 feet by 50 feet. You don't need a, a large landmass to be constituted as a nation. But find yourself a holy land and root in, even if you branch from there, but you gotta have a root. This is especially the time for a root.